Hello, good afternoon to my students of 10th uh, B and 10th F. Welcome back to your class, English class. Though we are not able to gather in that class so online, we are, you are meeting me, you are looking at me. So we continue, we already completed our first chapter before the holidays. I already mentioned about the two books. First flight. First flight is our uh, literature reader and uh, footprints without feet. That's our supplementary reader. So I, again, I continue with the, the first flight, first poem. Dust of Snow. It's written by Robert Frost. As you are very familiar with this poet. About the poet, if I say, Robert Frost was born in 1874 in San Francisco, California. In his lifetime, he won Pulitzer Award and many other awards. And the theme of this poem, Dust of Snow, Dust. Here dust means the particles, flakes, pieces of snow. In this poem, Robert Frost is trying to tell us that the best things in our life is our free time. You already enjoyed two months complete free but you were not free the way you desired so in a, on a cold winter day staying home could have been comfortable but due to some unavoidable circumstances the poet has been forced to go out such a time, the only thing that cheers him up is the world of nature. Crows and snowflakes. This natural world is available for us to see and touch free of cost. However, we generally take it for granted. Worse still, we can curse nature for giving us bad weather, such as the inhabitants of New England do in winter. But if we only pay attention to each and everything in nature, beautiful it's wonderful but we never pay attention we are going to learn about the importance of nature not only the importance of nature the unimportant things we consider daily in our life. Sometimes give us a great importance, great value. Robert Frost mentions two things here. One is a hemlock tree. And the other one is a crow. No poet ever used these unimportant things in their poems. Then why Robert Frost? That is a speciality about this poem. Have you ever watched the movie Chennai Express? It's a dialogue always. 
touch me. It great deal. It has a great influence on that. Don't underestimate the power of a common man. Yes, we are also sometimes very superstitious. When we get out of our house to go out somewhere for a travel, whenever way is blocked by a cat, a black cat, we say that oh, today our journey is spoiled. No. Here also in this poem you will see two such bad omens. One is crow and the other one is hemlock tree. Crow as you know very well. So it has a harsh voice, very dark in color. It's a bad omen. And what about the ha hemlock tree? Hemlock is such a tree its a fruit is used for making poison that means hemlock is the symbol of death other poets use peacock minor orchid tree and some of the beautiful trees bulmoba trees but Robert Frost used these things to make us understand these small things, the things which have less value, to give us life. That is what here we are going to learn. It's a beautiful poem written by the famous poet Robert Frost. Though the poem is very short, it has a significant meaning. This poem stands for a person, for helping a person who has lost all hopes in his life. And here, why it is very sad. And the falling of snow because of the crow made the day of the poet. Not only the day, the other days in future made happy. And he became very optimistic in his life because of the crow who sat on that tree. Because of his sitting on the tree, made the flakes of snow fall on the poet who was sitting under the tree, sitting or walking under this tree. This very small incident changed the poet's sad mood into happy mood. So it teaches us that. We should not be desperate because there is an opportunity to change the sad mood into happy mood. Let us come to the poem. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. Only eight lines are there. Each line is very important, very meaningful. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. Hemlock tree, I told you, a poisonous plant, a poisonous tree with a small white flowers. He said that poison is made from this tree. The way, I repeat, the way a crow 
shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree in this stanza the poet is talking about a winter's day when all the tree tops were covered in masses of snowflakes snow is covered on this hemlock tree you can find much in here in up but in others north side and other few observe winter season we find full trees kashmir and only can find this the poet was walking under one such a snow covered tree and a crow alighted on this tree because of the movement of the branches of this tree when the crow sat on it suddenly the mass of snow flakes at top it covered on it fell down on the poet like rain the snow flakes were so small and a minuscule that the poet thought they looked like white dust particles this shower of snow flakes pieces of snow from the hemlock tree is evidently the subject matter of this poem what made the snow what made the snow flakes fall down the crow what is the speciality of the crow no other poets ever used to such kind of uh, uh, birds in their poems it touch the poet in such a way come to the second stanza the poet explain has given my heart from a hemlock tree the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had rood rood means regretted sorry for that day when you study the biography of the poem biography of uh, robert frost he was so desperate that day he was uh, going to finish his death even going to suicide and it says that this crow made the poet very happy and they give up that thought from his mind so the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood what was his mood his mood was so sad he was so depressed from that sad mood he became very happy from pessimistic negativity to positivity and saved some part of a day i had rode i had rode rode means regretted held in regret very sorry very sad about the day but he became very happy he understood a little crow a small crow a bad omen can change his life how what we consider as an important thing how it can do it can save the life of a person in this stanza the poet explains to us exactly in what way the shower of snow flakes had an effect on him a good effect 
He says that it changed his mood, sad mood to happy mood. That is to say, he had been in a sullen or despairing mood. When the snowflakes fell on him because of the crow, all of a sudden, gladdened, made his heart so happy. In addition to this, there is another effect that the shower of snowflakes had on the poet. Because he says that that particular day was one that he had not been looking forward to and in fact it was not going too well either. He had decided in his mind that that particular day would go waste. However, the shower of dust like snow on him, on his shoulder, changed his mind. It made him feel that the day had not been a complete waste. At least some part of that day had been pleasant since it had given him a new experience that he could treasure as well as the material for another one of his poetic comp compositions. Then he thought, sir, I can make this situation, make this experience of the crow sat on the tree, hemlock tree and made the snow fall, fall on him so that he can compose a poem, dust and snow. So, the message it gives us, there have been times in our life we feel, we felt depressed or hopeless. A simple thing can change your life. positive attitude in life can make the world a better place to live in. So, try to find positivity in everything. And also, our attitude towards a situation evokes both a negative and a positive response. And this poem, Dust of Snow, what it means to you? Think over it. And Frost has used a very simple poem, simple language, to drive home a significant message that the little things sometimes have a big impact. explain to you some of the rhyme scheme as you know very well you learned already in plus nine thoughts the first stanza a b a b crow is rhyming with a snow me rhyming with the tree and in the second stanza the same c d c d if you continue with the stanzas heart is rhyming with heart and the mood is rhyming with the rue. And the other poetic devices I will explain to you in the next class. Read the poem thoroughly. Get interest. And the poem has a very beautiful thing. No good stuff. You have to take out the meaning by adding the lines to one another. Study the thoroughly. You know the best.